I'm William the winemaker. I'm the winemaker here at Layton's Chance Winery. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about packaging. That's one thing I get a lot of questions about. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of wine packaging and I've only got uh, really three of them here. But I wanted to tell you some of the options um, and, and why we use them and, and uh, what the advantages and disadvantages are. So uh, our winery started out as most wineries do using all cork uh, with bottles. Uh, and then uh, gradually moved over to all screw caps. Uh, now we're all screw caps. And a lot of people ask why that is. Um, cork, and uh, certainly everybody's familiar with cork here. Um, you have a cork underneath there. And it has, has a lot of advantages. Of course, it's been used for thousands of years to uh, close wine bottles because it does a good job of sealing um, and it does a good job of aging wines. It allows just the right amount of oxygen through to slowly age wine to perfection. Uh, some of the disadvantages though, one, you have to leave the bottle on its side or upside down because with cork, um, if you don't keep that cork moist uh, and wet, the cork will dry out and then it will start to leak. So if you leave it sitting up like this, um, probably after six to eight months, the wine can start to go bad. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that until they go to open the wine and, and wine that they've treasured, waited for a long time to open, and then boom, your wine's not any good. Um, but even if you treat it right, cork is just a piece of wood. Uh, it comes from trees and inherently a certain amount of it cracks and leaks. Um, and what can happen with that is when it leaks, uh, sometimes it leaks so bad that a lot of your wine leaks out of there. But often what time, what happens is just a little bit leaks out and then that wine will start to mold on there. And you take the, the top off there and you've got black on your cork mold. Nobody wants to see that. Um, no matter how good a cork you buy, that happens to a certain amount of them. So that's one of the reasons that we went away from cork and have gone to screw caps. Uh, screw caps, for a long time were seen as cheap um, because you couldn't age wine that way for a long time. But uh, technology, as always, is improving. Uh, and now screw caps have gotten to the point where you can age wine. That This layer through here allows just the right amount of oxygen through to age the wine. Uh, it has the advantage, one, it's easy to open. Two, it doesn't matter how it sits. You can sit it straight up. You can sit it on your side, upside down. It doesn't matter, it's all the same to the screw cap. Uh, so it really has all the advantages of cork without any of the disadvantages. So our winery has moved to screw caps for all its wine, and a lot of wine, more and more wineries all the time are. One of the in-betweens that you sometimes see is uh, rubber or plastic corks. Um, they were used for a while, you don't see that much anymore, um, because it gets rid of that problem of the cork leaking. You don't have that with the rubber corks. Um, but it doesn't age wine, so you saw it a lot with sweet wines, Jess. These days, you're starting to see more and more uh, of the alternative wine packaging. One that we've tried is cans. Uh, we've got two of our wines now in cans, our Lemonade and our Joe's Cool Red. Uh, the cans really don't have any advantage to the wine itself. It's just the size, um, a smaller, kind of more single serving, uh, and also where you can take it, places that you can't take glass. Um, to the beach or out on boats or things like that. Um, so it protects the wine, it's all just fine, um, but it gives you those advantages. This is not ours, um, but the other thing that you see a lot are boxes. Um, and with a box, for those who haven't done it, what you've got is a bag inside. And you open the box, mm -hmm. you pull the little uh, spout out of there for the bag, and boom, you put that in your fridge and you can pour yourself a glass of wine. This actually does have a lot of advantages to the wine bottle. With a wine bottle, um, once you open it, you really only have about uh, three to five days before that wine starts to oxidize and change flavor. Not terrible, it doesn't go bad per se. It's all still drinkable, but it does start to change slowly. Um, now for a lot of people, maybe that's not a problem. One bottle, one night, maybe two, you're okay. But for some people, uh, maybe you don't drink it all in, in one or two nights. 
um, and you want something that lasts a little longer. The great thing about these bags and boxes is that they stay fresh for longer. You can put that in there, take out a glass of wine, and that wine stays good for three, four weeks because this bag that you're pulling out of, you never open it. So there's no oxygen in there, so it stays fresh just as long as you have it in there. So that's an advantage. The disadvantage is for a winemaker is that it doesn't age the same as a bottle. So you really won't ever see really, really expensive wines in there because you can't age them over time. Uh, really expensive wines you want to be able to put in a bottle and then let that age for a certain amount of time. Boxes don't do that. But for most standard table wines, really great option. So like I said, these are just a few of the options that are out there in packaging. There's a lot more. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'd love to answer your questions. If there's enough of them, maybe we'll make another video about it. My email address is william at latenschance.com, and I uh, hope to talk to you again later.